This is insane. This guy Rico had extremely severe cystic acne and now has gotten to the point where it looks like he's never even had a pimple. He put up a video called How I Cleared My Acne Naturally, so we're gonna watch it, break it down, and see what we can learn. Let's get into this. If you look at my skin, would you ever believe that I used to look like this? I used to have really bad skin. So bad that I was ashamed of going to school or even meeting friends. 100% relatable. I can't tell you the amount of times I missed out on things because I was embarrassed and I didn't want people to see the new breakout that happened. I was so embarrassed to go out. But today I look like I never had acne. I don't even have scars. And this is something that not even doctors can understand. Hey everybody, it's Rico Go, And in this video, I'm going to give you my top five best practices when it comes to getting clear skin. No one in my family ever had skin problems. So I don't know where it's coming from. It was definitely not genetics. And yes, one could argue that it was puberty. But come on, did you ever see a teenager with that many pimples, inflammation, and redness, this was obviously a strong disease. And as it got worse and worse, I obviously searched for help. I went to many different doctors and they only prescribed me new lotions, creams, oils, and whatever there is on the market. I know from personal experience, and I know you guys know this, it can be really frustrating when you go to the dermatologist, the professional, who's supposed to be able to, to just fix your problem. And they give you the cream, the antibiotics, and all the different things, and they don't work. It, it's hard because you're like getting your hopes up, and then once again, it doesn't work. So you start, you start to lose, lose hope. I, I know how that feels. But the fact that my nutrition consisted of mainly nachos and soft drinks didn't even matter to them. Hell, they didn't even ask me one single question about my lifestyle. But hey, they are doctors, so they know what they are doing, right? Right? Fast forward, one year later, after trying all of the products out there, I was looking even worse. And eventually, I got offered a very strong medicine, a pill that even the doctors warned me about. And after I did my own research about it, I was shocked and I decided against it. And I'm so so he's talking about Accutane. I don't know if he's going to say that, but he's talking about Accutane. And I'm glad he did his research and decided to try other things. There's nothing wrong with doing Accutane, but I would say that if you haven't exhausted all the other options first and they haven't worked, then you really should try those first because Accutane is, is harsh. So happy that I did that because this was the time when I started looking for alternative solutions of getting rid of acne and getting clear skin. I knew there must be a cure to get rid of this disease so that I can finally feel good in my own skin again. After some days and weeks, I had a big list of things that I could do that potentially helps me get clear skin. And I went all in the next day. And I kept doing all of the things for a few weeks until I saw results. First, I realized that I didn't get so many new pimples anymore. Then I realized that my redness and cysts disappeared slowly. And after about 90 days, I realized that my acne was almost completely gone without any scars. And now I'm going to give you my top five best practices on how I got rid of acne and how you can too. All right. So he did his homework. That's something I wish I would have done earlier in my acne journey. And eventually I was forced to do it. And if you come up with this big list of exhaustive things that you can try, you can slowly start to go down that list and basically see which ones do or don't affect your acne. And over time, maybe you have 20 things you try. And you're like those three things. Oh my gosh. When I stopped eating gluten, who knew I had an allergy to it? But then bam, my face cleared up. You start to unlock the mystery of your acne, right? This is what I always tell people about the acne method.com is that's the program I created. And the whole purpose is to figure out your puzzle because everyone's different. What works for one person doesn't always work for another person. So it's good to have that homework done for you, a list to go through, but boom, 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 10 steps. And by the end of it, you'll know, oh, those four steps whew, that changed everything. I know if I'm having breakouts, I pull off of those bad things, right? So anyways, check out the program, but let's see what he has to say. Number one, I call it the clean skin diet. With our diet, we cannot just change how our body looks like, but also how our skin looks like. Actually, I would argue that it's probably one of the most important factors when it comes to getting clear skin, but most people don't know how to do it right. So I'm going to give you the secret now. And that is that your diet must consist of at least 30% of vegetables and fruits. It can be frozen and it can also be fresh. Next, absolutely try to avoid dairy and chocolate. I always Okay, he's diving right into the diet. So I agree with the fruits and vegetable thing. And the main reason for this is that you're getting a lot of micronutrients. And in studies, many a times I've done videos about this, we've tested people with acne and found that almost all of them always have at least one vitamin deficiency. Even 92% of Americans have a vitamin deficiency. So by addressing a vitamin deficiency, sometimes your acne will improve, sometimes even fully clear up. And you know, common ones are, are zinc and magnesium and iron 
iron, but it's important to get your vitamins in. And fruits and vegetables have prebiotic fiber, which feed the good bacteria in your gut and it improves gut health. Both those things are massive. Now, as far as dairy goes, for me, that was my entire cause of acne. Well, maybe not the entire, but it was a huge cause of my cystic acne. So when I got rid of dairy, it really improved my acne. So it's definitely something that when you try, you have to cut it out 100% because when I would just have a little, like a protein bar, something like that, boom, I would have a cyst pop up the next day. So if you try this, do it 100% perfect for two weeks and see if it improves your skin. I saw a direct correlation between my dairy intake and the amount of pimples I had on my face. And I'm not the only one saying that. And as there are many alternatives like coconut and almond milk, it's easier than you think. Talking about drinks, you should drink a lot so that your body cells have enough hydration to clean themselves. I multiplied my body weight by 0.05 and this was the amount of water I had to drink every single day. And as I weigh around 80 kilos, it was about four liters of water daily. Now it's getting interesting. And I actually left the most important so kind of a weird water calculation he did there. Honestly, I would say minimum, you probably want to get over half a gallon of water, but you're going to be able to just feel how your body feels. Hydration, I know you've heard this a million times, drink your water, improves your acne. It is not going to solve anyone's acne. Let's get that straight, but it does help with your overall health and just your overall circulation. And sometimes acne is a circulation problem. So I would say half a gallon at minimum. I like to get a little bit over a gallon. Just see what feels best for you. Most important part until the very end, because I have to add an important note here. And that is that I'm not doing this specific diet anymore. I only used it to get rid of acne and it worked so good. It is a vegan diet. Again, I'm not vegan anymore, but I know for sure that it helped me a lot for my fast and drastic healing process. The second one, ah, I love it. And I I'm surprised to hear him say he, he jumped on a vegan diet. So by no means do you have to go plant-based in order to get rid of your acne. But the idea is that a lot of people, when they go vegan, tend to eat more fruits and vegetables than they had before. And so those the same things, the micronutrients as well as the prebiotic fibers can really, really help. But also some people have a really adverse reaction to all sorts of different animal products. Eggs is one that I get all my in my comments very often. Also red meat, a lot of times can be inflammatory for people and their guts don't have the enzymes to break it down well. So anytime you get inflammation in your gut because of something not digesting well, you're going to have acne, right? It's an inflammatory thing. So you don't have to, but it's, I can see why it definitely helped him. I love it. And I want to do it right now. And that is sauna. When I had acne, I did something super smart. And that is I started a mini job in a local spa so that I was able to use the spa area and saunas completely for free. And so I was there multiple times a week, of course. And doing sauna is really amazing for getting clear skin because if you're in the heat, then your pores open and all of the toxins and bad bacteria can get out of your body. In combination with ice bathing, you can then immediately close your pores again so that no dust or dirt can enter them. I usually did four or five. This is an interesting one because we don't have a lot of science about saunas and acne. People just basically have their anecdotal experiences. Some people break out more, some people break out less when they use the sauna often. But the idea of, of it opening your pores and closing your pores, that, that is true. Your pores do dilate with heat and, and cold. But I would argue that, I don't know, I don't know if a lot is coming out in those moments other than sweat, right? Like if you have a clogged pore, it's pretty hard. It doesn't, it's not liquid, right? It, it's solidified a bit. So it's hard to just come out. But I will say that saunas improve lymphatic fluid circulation. And when you have clogged lymph nodes and lymph fluid, it definitely can lead to acne. So I could see this definitely working. Four or five rounds of that around four times per week. And yes, I know saunas can be expensive. If you don't work in a spa and you can use them for free. But for that, I actually have an amazing tip for you. You can actually do your own little sauna at home completely for free. Yes, literally. I call it facial sauna and it works like that. You add boiling water into a pot. Then you add tea bags, for example, chamomile. And then you add a towel over your head and you hold your face above the water. Then you sweat over the hot water for about 10 minutes. And that is one round. You do that for about four rounds. And also after each round, you can do a cold shower, at least with the shower head on your face. And now number three is no touching. When you have inflamed skin and acne, avoid touching your skin at all costs. Everyone touches their skin multiple times a day subconsciously, but you should definitely try to absolutely avoid it, especially if you have bad skin. Our hands transfer bad bacteria. I have been even touching my face during the filming of this video. My face gets a little itchy from the hair and I try to pull it off. So when you touch your face, you already know this, you have a lot of bacteria and whatnot, but I've made videos about how to stop touching and how to stop picking and popping your pimples. You definitely put like check that out. I'll put the link for that in the description, maybe a card on screen. Um, but there's a lot of things that you can do to catch yourself because it's on an autopilot. You're not consciously doing it. You just catch yourself leaning on your hand. You're like, oh no. For bad bacteria onto our skin. And this is the worst enemy for acne. Also other people ideally shouldn't touch your skin. Our acne skin should be isolated as long as possible until the healing process is over. Also very, very important. Never, and I really mean never pop a pimple. 
One, because you put a lot of dirt under your skin and this makes the pimple even worse after that. And two, because you want to avoid scars at all costs. I don't have any scars and the reason for that is because I never popped a pimple. I know so many people with holes in their face because they always pop the pimples immediately after they got them. I know it's not easy, but believe me, it's absolutely worth it because you will walk with that face until the end of your life. And because it is so important, you should draw an X right here on your finger so that when you're about to touch your skin, you will see it and you will remember to not touch your skin. And this leads to number four, the right. Interesting idea of drawing an X on your finger so you see it. Like I said, I have a lot of other tips uh, as to how to stop picking, but when you pop a pimple with your fingers, a lot of times you have to put so much pressure to get the top to pop, but by the time you've had the top pop, the bottom actually has pop too because it's like a little sack, right? And the bottom can pop underneath your skin and that is why you get these big inflamed areas that sometimes get two or three times as big and even fill up again. So he had a lot of discipline. I'm really proud of him. I did not have that much discipline. I've gotten better over time. It's really hard to pop, not pop your pimples. I know you know that, but I'm just saying. It's hard. Or the right cleaning. You don't want to wash your skin too often, but also not too infrequently. Your skin needs to be able to build the so-called natural acid mantle, because this natural acid mantle protects your skin during the day and night from any bad bacteria that may cause pimples. So right after you wake up, it's the perfect time to rinse your skin one time and be ready for the day. The skin will be clean and protected for the whole day. And when you're back home, you can clean it one more time so that you're also protected for the night. And when cleaning, definitely make sure to not use normal towels. I actually recommend you to use facial tissues. And when it comes to using products, I actually never. All right. So with this, it's it's definitely good advice, right? I think a lot of people think that acne is a dirty problem. It's not, you, it doesn't mean that you are dirty and I hate that stigma. Um, and, but because of that stigma, a lot of people think, oh, well, if it's dirty and it's dirt, well, then I should just cleanse it more often, right? So like if I use this cleanser four or five or six times, it'll be better. But actually your skin can only handle so much, right? When you strip the oil off your face with a cleanser, your body starts to overproduce oil. Um, just the irritation that it's causing, irritation causes acne. And so he's right. Try to minimize the amount that you are cleansing and the amount of products you're using. I think two a day is, is great. If your skin doesn't tolerate that well, one a day is actually what I do one a day. And it's just at the end of the night. Um, and, and like, I'll take a shower after, after my workout with just pure water. Um, but you definitely kind of have to play with it a little bit and see what works best for you. We used anything. I'm not saying you should use nothing, it's your decision, but if you decide to use something, definitely make sure to not overuse 10 different products. You can maybe use one pH neutral cleaning lotion for maximum 5 euros, but definitely don't use 15 different oils, lotion, creams from overpriced brands. Because believe me, the only thing they are good at is marketing and putting your money out of your pockets. I spent too much money on them, so don't do the same mistake. And for sleep... All right, so... For a guy who's not a skincare channel and and really just learned just to, you know, solve his own acne, he, he knows a lot. So what he's talking about is the caveman regimen. And this is where you don't use any products at all. I mean, literally anything. And a lot of times this can cure people's acne. It's insane. If you look up caveman routine on Reddit or YouTube, you'll see a lot of videos of this. But basically, a lot of people will tend to add another product, add another product until they're using like 15 different products. And it does disrupt your skin acid mantle as well as cause irritation because of all those different active ingredients. And so sometimes just getting off of everything allows your skin acid mantle to reach where it should, a neutral pH like it's supposed to. It repairs itself and the irritation goes away from you not using those products. Sometimes that actually solves everything. I'm not telling you that's what you should do, but if you haven't put that in your arsenal at some point, that is something that when I tried, I was like, whoa, that helped. Now I'm going to just use one or two products instead of, you know, 15 like I was originally, right? Ping, remember to change your bed sheets more often because we sleep a lot during the night and we don't want to have all of that stuff on our faces. Maybe change them every two weeks. Number five. That's good advice. That's all I need to say. That's good advice. Meditation. Meditation is the acne killer from within. And not just that, meditation actually has so many health benefits. I'm meditating regularly since almost 10 years and it's scientifically proven that it will make you more relaxed and also more aware. It helps you to release stress, which is good for your skin. And it also helps you to be more aware so that you're not touching your skin during the day. I do 15 minutes of meditation each day and I feel so good. Adding a mantra. This is really 
Good advice. And this goes a little bit more into like the intangible, mental, spiritual. But when you are stressing, your cortisol raises. And right when your cortisol, which is the hormone that, you know, stress causes to raise, when that raises, it causes you to create more oil, right? So you produce more oil, therefore more acne. So if you can do anything to either remove the stresses that are in your life or put into play anti-stress behaviors, either of those things will help. And even knowing that you're going to do something later tonight, that's going to be an anti-stressor, like take a long bath or meditate or read, just knowing it throughout the day, actually it's been proven. It reduces your overall stress level and your cortisol throughout the day, even when you're in the middle of doing stuff that's stressful. So really good advice. Mantra and visualization helps you to make the manifestation even stronger. For example, when I was meditating back then, I used a mantra where I said, I love my skin. It's beautiful, even though it was not yet the case. But with that sentence, I attracted my goal into the presence. As with everything in life in the beginning, yes, it felt uncomfortable. But if there is one thing that I'm very good at, it is doing something even though it feels uncomfortable. And as you can see, it was definitely worth it. I'm not ashamed anymore to go out or meet friends. And yes, I did a few other things. It's really great advice to push into something that's uncomfortable. You know, even if it means that you're going to have to do all these different steps in order to find what's causing your acne, it's worth it. Take the extra time to figure it out. And with the spirituality thing, whether you believe in it or not, manifesting and believing that something is possible and is currently happening literally changes your life. I'm not going to get super deep into it. I would like to make a video about that, but everything changed for me once I started changing the words I used to describe myself and to talk about myself. And so instead of saying like, I am so ugly, everybody hates me, girls think I'm unattractive. Instead, I said, I'm figuring this out. Every step forward, every day is a step closer to, you know, figuring out my acne. And also people love me and see me for who I am, not just my skin. And once I started believing all those things, it really did change everything. So just want to throw my little experience in there as well. A few other things as well, but these sticked out the most. And the best thing is that I knew from the beginning that it is possible to get clear skin completely naturally. And I actually achieved it. And I'm a living example of that. I knew that it's possible to get rid of acne without additional products or pharmaceutical pills. I proved it and I showed you all of the important steps that you need to take to achieve the same completely for free. So I'm hoping that some of these things you haven't actually heard or you haven't actually tried yourself because that's why I like to react to these. It's just bring up new perspectives, new gems, new tips and tricks. And so if you have anything that you think could help somebody who's watching this video right now, please leave them in the comments below because people really do read those and they really, really do get help from people who actually have acne giving advice about acne. Guys, as always, if you haven't checked out my favorite skincare brand, it's called Banish and you can use my code Brian5 for a discount. This is by far the best skincare brand out there. Everything they make is cruelty free. It's also all small batch made, which means that whenever you order, the order was made on Monday of that week. So all the actives are still active where a lot of other brands, their ingredients, their product will sit on the shelf for years before it gets to you. So definitely check out Banish is my favorite. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more reactions in the comments below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I put out a new video every single weekend. And remember, you are not alone. You are beautiful and you're a part of Team Acne. I'll see you guys in the next video.